if you are feeling the burn, man, feeling the burn of the Minneapolis market, right? You're feeling the burn of the market being so tight. You're feeling the burn of the properties being so expensive. You're feeling the burn of not being able to find stuff that meets your cash flow goals. You're feeling the burn of being pushed out of the business due to the current conditions of the market. If any of this sounds like you, I would like you to stick around because I'm going to solve those problems for you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you. I am here to help investors from all over the country, all over the world, actually. We got clients from uh, Singapore, uh, Germany, the UK, Korea, the good one, not not the bad one, not the bomby one, not the bomby one. No, no, no. We got from the, the good Korea there. But a lot of our folks come from the good old US of A, and uh, they're people much like my man Mark. Mark is in Minneapolis, and he's running into an issue right now. He can't find any deals, man. Uh, markets move, right? We're in 2022, folks. Uh, this is a seller's market, historically low levels of inventory. So if you're in a market and you're being pinched and you want to find better deals, you come to somebody like me, right? We go where the deals are. We go where the money is. And, Mark, we do flips, rental properties, uh the whole thing, wholesales, Airbnbs, all of it, right? We help you guys invest, and we handle all the on-the-ground work for you guys, right? I've done $200 million worth of sales, run a huge management portfolio. Uh, we know what we're doing, right? We help investors like you, Mark. And, Mark, right now, me and you, we've been looking at properties in Northeast Ohio, the Cleveland market, and you come across this property, and you're thinking about flipping it, thinking about uh, doing a flip on it, seeing if it's a good deal. You wanted my take on it, and that's what I'm here to do, brother. 8249 Oberlin Road, Elyria, Ohio, 44035. It's been on the market for 84 days, and it's listed at $85,000, but it says AUC. That stands for auction, and it's not really being listed at $85,000. Now, I understand why you like this property, Mark. I understand why you were thinking that this could be something we could look at, thinking that this may make some sense. Uh, but unfortunately, brother, this deal is not going to work for you. We are not going to do a deal here. This deal is not going to happen, and I shall explain why. Um, you're on the right page, right? This is a good neighborhood. Uh, we do have comps that show us uh, they, you know, properties are selling for 200 and up over here, right? So you're, you're on the right trail, but that's what I'm here for, folks. You come to a new market, you need somebody actually on the ground. You need on the ground expertise to walk you through, uh, what's going to be a good deal for you. What's going to be a bad deal, right? I'm trying to keep you all from stepping on landmines, right? Anybody could buy a property, right? Anybody could do that. Anybody can do that. If you got a little bit of money, you got two cents to run together, you know, you could do that, right? But can you buy a property and make money on it, right? That's what I'm here for. That's what you need an expert for. And, Mark, here's the situation with this one. This one's just too high risk for you. There's too many unknowns. Now, this is an auction. So 85000 they just, like, threw that out there. That's not actually the price. They In, in the notes, they even, like, kind of alluded to that. Uh, what they said is... The list price is not indicative of the seller's final reserve amount, okay? That's uh, bullshit speak for, we put $85,000 up there, so you click on the fucking ad, but we're not going to sell it to you for $85,000. That's what that means, right? That's like, uh, I don't know. I just bought uh, I just bought a new truck the other day, right? Just bought a new truck, and uh, the son bitch came out to like, I don't know, like seventy five grand, okay? $75,000 truck. It's a nice truck. Uh, but so I just bought me this truck, seventy five grand. That would be like going to the dealership and on the, the window, it's like fourteen grand. i am like, oh, dude, sweet. Uh, let me get that $14,000 truck. They're like, nah, that truck's seventy five grand, bro. But, but you're a 14000 on the window. Oh, the window price is not indicative of what we'll accept, <laughs> right? So a little bit of bullshit. And on top of that, uh, through this, like, auction bullshit website, they want you to pay an additional 5% premium on top 
of whatever uh, offer you give them that they accept, uh, which will not be 85K. Uh, so that, that stuff alone, it's just a bunch of rinky-dink BS. I'm not interested in it, but that doesn't mean it's a bad deal. Not why I told you we're not going to do the deal here. That stuff's annoying, but we could get through crap like that. Uh, the issue here is I have no idea how to convey to you uh, a reasonable estimate of what we got going on here. I don't know what's going on in the house, and we'll never know. Now, I do a lot of stuff where we don't get to see the pictures of the inside of the tenants' units, and we go ahead and we make these offers sight and seen. But you know what we do? We always make them with due diligence. We always put them contingent on an inspection later, contingent on an appraisal later. Here, not the case. They're not letting you. They said, yo, this the property. Price is 85K, but it's not really 85K. Oh, and you can't inspect it. You can't do an appraisal. You'll never be able to go inside. You're not even allowed to go there. And don't talk to our tenants. Don't go on the property. Don't look at it. Don't drive by it. So it's like, here it is. We're not going to tell you how much we'll take. We're not going to tell you what it looks like. And we will not let you do due diligence later. That's nothing to go off of. Oh, and on top of that, whenever we do come to the price, which we're not going to tell you what it is, you got to pay an additional 5% to us. It's just a whole bunch of garbage, just a waste of time. And we'll never be able to do any due diligence. It could have a major structural issue. I have no idea. Uh, it could be gutted inside. I have no idea. We'll, n we'll never be able to know. We'll never get more information from them uh, other than this. Now, I've sold $200 million worth of this stuff. I've done many, many deals like you know, if I didn't think these guys were rinky-dink assholes, uh, this might be something that I, you know, would go crazy on a low ball and just essentially be rolling the dice, right? Like, you do 50 deals like that a year, and maybe, like, you make money on 40 of them, but 10 of them you lose your butt, right? It's name of the game. But, Mark, you're just entering this market. This would be the first slip in this market. I don't think you're set up to just totally make a blind gamble, so... Uh, for you, I would say the risk versus reward here makes no sense, and uh, I would not like to watch you pursue this deal any further. I'll get back to the drawing board, get working on some other stuff. You sent me a few other deals to look over for you, so we'll look into those, because this one, dude, I, I see no deal here. Let's move on. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.